That's not too bad, is it? Okay, the explorers are finished. Uh, you go join them. And we'll send them off to the next one. But really, we now know is that we have to come down here to Africa. We have to get that colonial range up. So either we need to get closer, or we need to find a way to get closer. Portugal is this now. Attack England? I don't, I don't think we can. I don't think we can. There's not really any way closer for us, is there? Yeah, for now, it's the wait and see. The Emperor has enacted an Imperial Reform. Oh, good for the Emperor. Good for him. Um, someone's back in the Palatinate. They're a family of ours, but still, they're the most powerful. You know what? I'm still sending Tywin out. I don't care. I'm s uh, Tywin was the one I got. I'm sending Tywin out. Go explore, Tywin. Explore. Now, we could go to North Atlantic. Could be good because, you know, there's that land Norway has. Um, the coast or sea. Caribbean Sea. Let's go for North Atlantic coast, I guess. Because, you know, I'm guess yeah, we'll go for that. Might as well, we might as well explore it while we can, you know. We may not be going that way. We are going to Africa, but we might as well explore. We might as well see what happens. 1494. We've got 20 more years until the chance that we can inherit Norway. Exploration is finished. That was very quick. That's a very quick exploration. Okay, let's, let's head back then. Uh, North Atlantic Sea. Go do that. Might as well. We might, if we're going to do it, we might as well explore the world and see what happens. But until then, we just need... Oh, oh Albania. See, Al this is what happens. Al this is, Albania, this is why you're meant to not fight against your neighbors. Or at least Venice is helping you. But I don't think that's going to help you for long. Uh, cold has increased. That helps actually quite a lot. That's happened like four times now. We've had that increase. So that's actually a really good thing to have. So colonists are going to have a real big use there as well. Uh, Killian Royce has died. Ah, uh, Killian Royce. Who is fighting Scotland? I think it's just rebels right now, Kilroy. But you've died, sadly, Kilroy. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear of your loss. But we need a new general. So... We want to keep our professionalism up, so I'm going to hire a new one. Um, council, who would like to be our next general? Or a, a name for our next general, potentially. Don't really mind who. If not, I'll just keep it as Frode Lingbai. Frode Lingbai. Sounds like a good man. Sounds like a good man. Rest in peace. You're all correct. Rest in peace. Hello, the ETN Gaming. Welcome. Welcome. We're just finding a new name for our next commander, our next general of the people. Killian Royce fought the rebels and the nobles of the past. Did a good job. Make him a Royce. Uh, what, another Royce? He's the son of Kilroy, maybe. We call him Frode Royce, potentially. Frode Royce. You go with that. Could be a son of his. Okay. Sounds like I'm going to go. Unless someone says anything, you know, five. Four. Fredericks is kill right. Ty we've already got Tywin <laughs> We've already got a Tywin sailing the seas. We don't need a Tywin also manning the soldiers. It's too many Tywins, you know? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Boop. Okay, it's Frode Royce. He is gonna be the son of Killian Royce. Okay, there we go. His father, okay, he's got the same problem as his father. He's all about maneuverability. And he's got a bit of shot fire, but we can't use fire right now. So, pretty bad. Let's make him drill. What DLC makes you name your generals? Um, the ETM Gaming. I c can't remember. There are so many DLCs that I cannot remember which one lets you name them. That's, you're asking too much. Maybe it's the Art of War? Maybe? I, I, well, I say, I, I can't remember. Uh, Poland's taken all this land now. So the borders are a little nicer, but still. Teutonic Order is still alive just here. But it's not much. Muscovy, we need you to back us. Fight against Poland. They would if we offered them land. Uh, Moldavia, Novgorod, of course. Of course Novgorod has allied to Poland. Who... Of course they have. Bronze cannons in the Ottomans' lands. 
our relations as they should be. Okay, yeah, it looks good then. Yeah. Just need to get our stuff up. I have Art of War, but can't name them. Then that probably is not the one. I, like I say, I, I cannot for the life of me remember. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many. It's like, it, it's so hard to remember. Portugal took that. Yeah, Portugal trying to, Portugal trying to get to India before me. How dare they? Local fortification experts discovered. The entire country needs him. We gain a skill. Let him stay at home. Let him stay at home. I don't need another advisor right now. Uh, we're making money, but we're not making too much money. Exploration's finished. I completely forgot about them. To be honest. Hey, okay, good job. Next job. Uh, I guess go to the Caribbean Sea. Might as well. Might as well go to the Caribbean. Go explore. See the sun. Have a good time. Have a nice holiday, Tywin. Go see the sun, you know. Have some whatever it is that you drink. I don't know. Yeah. Can't get on them. Poland? Do we still... Are we still doing that? Fabricating claims. Um, which way do we want to go? Mamel, I guess. Let's go for Mamel. Do we need more? now. we'll stop there then. I've got a lot of claims on Poland now. I think we might be going towards a big war with Poland. That's what I'm starting to think. He's trying... Oh, Sweden maybe he's trying to get Austria to help them... Escape my grasp. We can invest in a new idea. Now, global selling because we don't need that. Now, what we need is to get the technology up so we can increase our colonial range. Do any of the others do that? Another colonist. We don't need another colonist right now. Yeah. It's the only one we need. Any of these that help? They don't, do they? No. So, yeah. The, the one we just need to get the tech up now. We've done that enough. We can do another government reform now. Okay, let's see what we can go from here. So, bureaucracy. We could do this. Let's see. Centralized bureaucracy. Norway's and brief renaissance. Okay. Centralized bureaucracy. Monthly autonomy change minus 0 0.05. Okay. Or uh, decentralized bureaucracy. Max promoted cultures plus two. Well, right now, culture-wise, I don't think we really have a problem with that. We have a bit of Swedish or a bit of Westphalian, but I don't think, you know, promote cultures, zero out of two. I don't think we're going to have a massive problem with cultures and stuff. So, yeah, I, I don't see the point in that for us. Um, the autonomy, centralized bureaucracy makes the most sense, I think. Yes, let's do that. We're going to have a centralized bureaucracy. There we go. Okay, so we're kingdom. Feudal nobility, strength for noble privileges, and centralized bureaucracy. Yeah, it seems to all go well together. The next one will be at 200, quite a bit. 1498. You get them quite quickly. You're going to go through these, it feels like, really quickly. I don't know. I don't know. It's just my opinion so far. Maybe you're meant to them. Maybe you're meant to have them all done quite early on. So that way you can use them for the later on in the game. I guess that makes sense. The opponent's at war, but sadly only with Livonian order. Which is a shame. The University of Copenhagen. King Christian I of Denmark founded the University of Copenhagen in 1479 as a studium general. The university became a center of Roman Catholic theological learning, but also had facilities for the study of law, medicine, and philosophy. Sponsor the university. We just don't have enough gold, but I'm going to do it anyway. We have to anyway. It doesn't give you a choice. Um, so there you go. Minus eight gold. There we go. Took out a loan. Well, that's... It's annoying, but it's fine. Okay. New stuff we can do. Exploration was finished by Tywin. Good job, Tywin. We can get this up. There we go. Now, trade range. Now, that doesn't help either. We have to get the Diplo... We need to get the Diplotech really, really higher. He's, he's increased the clone 20%. That's pretty good. We have to make sure we keep him. Make sure he doesn't die. Yeah. 20 years, we might be able to inherit one of them. Brandenburg, you still have trouble with your inheritance? Oh, it's a Haps it is a Habsburg. Okay, so Habsburg did inherit Brandenburg. That's a shame. Uh, Robber Barons, do we want to? We could do that. That'll be fine. This one's better for the choice of uh, states it affects. Brandenburg, Muscovy. Regency. Let's have a look at the dispute successions. Quite a few different ones. The Isles, Savoy, Wurttemberg, Tyrone, 
Nothing too crazy right there. Scotland's still having a bit of rebellion right now. And with the Emperor still strong, development in Colden has increased. The Emperor's still pretty strong. We haven't lost our place on the Great Power list, though, yet. Ah, uh, it's Cradle of Civilization DLC. Oh, okay, that seems like a pretty random one for that, but okay. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, Hester's got a couple of votes there. If one of those changes, one of the Austrian ones changed to Hess. Um, we could see Hess get. That would be a good way for me to take advantage of that. Um, other than that, yeah, we're fine. I could probably pay back the loan, actually. Repay the loan. Total nine. Okay, almost. Court painter available. Hire him. Get it's for you. It's not bad. Decline. Renegotiate the. Pro that's even better. Well, that's really good. Yeah, because we're first. That's really nice. Okay, definitely renegotiate it. Okay, navigator uh, has died. Okay, that's not good. The honest merchants of Denmark. While we lie, we have the best officers. Office. We need a new one though. Global tariffs with diplomatic reputation. Diplomatic reputation. Let's go for that. We need that diplo um, power. And in fact, I might concentrate on that. We're gonna yeah, we need to get our we need to get our colonial range as high as possible. We need to go on we just need to concentrate on diplo for now completely. Let's do that. Okay, right, concentrate on diplo. We're going full diplo crazy. Norway will love me because I'll be so diplomatic. They'll be like, oh my god, look at Denmark. They're so great. And everyone will love us. What's the professionalism? Go no okay, we're nowhere near the next level, but okay. I wonder what about Poland? What about elective monarchy government? Little, little Poland. They still love, they still want to be friends. I feel bad because they still want to be friends. But like me and Muscovy, we could fight them, and then Novgorod as well would be a problem in that war. I I, I guess I could try and fight Novgorod. Fight a Cold War in Novgorod, they will bring in just Poland, and of course Lithuania. But none of them have a Poland allies, so you wouldn't get Mec just Mecklenburg. We need to invest into fancy hats, Kilroy. Yes. It's the only way to get anyone to love you these days. I mean, just real life as well. The world is run by fancy hats. That's We all know it. No one wants to say it. No one wants to admit to it. We all know the truth. It's not lizard people. It's not robots that run the world. It's fancy hats. And if anyone denies that, they're just a, a, a fancy hat wearer. That's all. They just don't want to admit to it. We need 200 more colonial range. Hats are OP, exactly. That's 2 OP. Now, the Papal States is being attacked by France. France, what's going on? You're attacking Ma Milan? Brittany is almost dead. But the France is pretty strong. The Pope is now again in charge of the Papal States. France doesn't hate me, though. France could be convinced to join me, but we've already got our two allies to help take care of Poland. Brandenburg would probably want to help fight Poland, I would think. Uh, we can purchase an ability here. Oh, I forgot. Yes, Danish subject loyalty. Oh, yeah. Minus 30%. I completely forgot Denmark. Had. Of course we want the Denmark one. Let's go with that. Golden era. Morale of armies, morale of navies, or power costs. Goods produced... Maximum absolutism. We can only enact it once. No, we need to wait. We need to wait until, you know. We need to wait until we get to India. Then we'd start a golden era. It just feels weird why you'd start so early. I don't know. I guess if you really need to do something early on, it might be good. But that might help to keep Sweden under line. 60. That's not too bad. You know, it's almost there. If we just, you know, improve relations maybe with them and keep him there. Because we've got enough, uh, you know, advisors. There's a chance we might be able to keep Sweden under wraps until, you know, 1500. Which then gives us a chance possibly to inherit them. So there is a chance here. There's definitely a chance. Brandenburg would join, so would Muscovy. That's, 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 ah, oh, that's, 
so delicious. The idea is delicious. Um, Poland, let's have a quick look. Poland has 21,000 men. They're pretty strong. But we have a very similar amount of men. Now, Lithuania is 16,000. And Muscovy is 22,000. So me and Muscovy have more men than Poland and Lithuania together. Now, Novgorod. Sweden also has 15,000 men. I see Novgorod. Novgorod's not up here. They're too small. Got beat up a bit too much. 9,000 men. How many does Norway have? I mean, I can just have a look at Norway in a second. Please go look at Norway. How many do you have? Uh, 8,000 men? About the same as Norway. We could probably beat Poland. Brandenburg has 7,000 men. So if I was to declare war... Mecklenburg, I'm just not sure about. And you've got Moldavia as well. Now, we could take some land for Sweden. Poland would not join if we attack. Ooh. But I'll be making Sweden stronger, so that's like a very bad idea. <laughs> That'd be a very bad idea, actually. Uh, no claims on... Oh, France is allied to Scotland, are they? No, they're not. Why? They are guaranteed by France. Okay. Suit yourselves then, France. Suit yourselves. Um, we could humiliate our rival of England. Utrecht. Brandenburg would join. We could attack England. Use that as an excuse. The foreign peace options are disabled. Conquer. Yeah, we can't really conquer provinces though. It doesn't. It's not really worth it, is it? It's not really worth it at the end of the day. I f I f Poland war, though, is very tempting. The Poland war is very tempting. I might wait. To, if someone declares war on Poland, we will declare war on Poland. That's that's my thing. We see Poland in war. That's not... The Verdian Order is now dead. But if Poland is at war, and it looks bad... Well, not bad, but if it, it just, it's dead, just at war. We'll go to war. Corruption. Try to eradicate the problem or ignore them. Uh, government reform process. Ooh. Now, we just go back to normal. Lose one stability. We're at plus three stability. I think I can try to eradicate that. And I think we'll be fine. There we go. Pretty good. Yeah, we'll see if Poland goes to war. We'll go to attack Poland. Um, and that could give us a chance to take this land here on the coast. So that could attach the Denmark. And then we could slowly eat Poland and Lithuania. Uh, but then obviously we've got Muscovy, then would be a threat. It's going to have to balance this, aren't we? So we can do this up. We would get a new idea. But do I really want a new idea? Is there anything else I could do my administration for? No, I don't think so. Let's do this then. Now, we're ahead. On ad administration tech is really far ahead. So I think we should get our new idea should be in administration. So innovation, maybe. Uh, prestige DK, mercenary institutions, possible advisors, reduce that. Uh, innovation, I'm not really bothered about. Religious, maybe we could go, if we get to India, we can convert them and stuff. Maybe economic, I think we make pretty good money as it is. I don't feel like we need to, but we could make it amazing. Expansion, now... Once we get to India, colonists aren't a big deal. Colonists are just important for Africa. Really, merchants, recruitment time. Yeah, I don't think that's good for us. Administration, though. Mercenaries and stuff. Spending our money on mercenaries. Or humanist. Religious unity. National unrest. Tolerance of heretics. Year separatists. Maximum cultures. Uh, improved relations or tolerance of humans. We could go for humanist. You could get one fully done. Policies, yeah. Idea cost minus ten percent. Number of states plus five. State maintenance, uh, development cost, uh, culture conversion cost, of clergy, innovation. Whew, this is going to be a difficult one. Now we're not going for military because our military tech is slightly behind. So I, I want to keep that going. We don't want to be spending that power. We want to be spending the administration one. Maybe uh, innovative is the best. So advisors, technology costs, mercenary maintenance. It's kind of a bit of every single one, isn't it? I 
I think I might go with innovative. I, I've, I never go for innovative. And I think this could be fun. Yeah. We're going to go for innovative. I never do that one. So I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. Um, technology can be done again. We get the There we go. Military tech. Speak of the devil. Um, true fire. Can have a barracks. Excellent. That's a good one. And I did. We don't want to do that just yet. We're, we're keeping that for the tech. Okay, game. And um, what is this? State firearms. Land maintenance goes up. Army drill gain modifiers. Ooh, I am drilling a lot. So, yes. State firearm regiments. There we go. Abolish our armed regiments. Lose five army professionalism. We're not going to do that. Uh, administrating an empire for the Ottomans. We'll keep it as it is for now. We're just making one gold, a, one gold a month. Kilroy, yes. What? Yes, what? <laughs> yes, what? What is it? Tyrone. Tyrone's experience. Kill, uh, kill dare. Maybe, maybe someone in Ireland might be able to unite Ireland potentially. Uh, Brunswick looking pretty good. How's the emperor? Ooh, ooh, it's the Palatinate, and the Palatinate is family. Ooh. This could be an opportunity to uh, attack maybe Northern HRE, possibly. Uh, we'll maintain Diplomat in Sweden, just to make sure they're there. How is that? So look at that. We did it. Because we chose the Denmark one, Sweden's actually okay for now. So we'll be able to keep them like this at least till 1500. And then there's a chance we might be able to inherit Sweden. So eh, it's looking pretty good. Hungary's announced Denmark as the new rival. Well, you had us before, then you got rid of me. You know, what's up with you? Okay, Diplo. The next one, yes. Colonial range plus 115. That would not be enough um, yet. Make it 200 and like 70. But then is the 50% added on top of that, I guess. Damn it, Portugal. <laughs> Damn you, Portugal. Damn you. <laughs> They always get their foot. What happened to my ships? There are my ships. They always get there before me. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to wait a bit longer for that then. Fine. Uh, we can get prestige decay. Now, do I want that? Now, the administration tech is going to take ages to get. So we might as well get it. There we go. Okay, I missed my mum called. What series is this? Um, this is the Bring T the Denmark series. We're playing in the Dharma New DLC. And we're going to try and get to India as Denmark. It's a new it's a new uh, achievement you can get. And we need to make a trade company in India and control 10% of the tea. And we get an achievement as Denmark. I thought it would be different than starting in India. I bet most people start in India. So I want to do something a little bit different for people. Because I know, you know, seeing the same place all the time can be quite boring. Uh, go on air is started for Castile. We now can't colonize those damn lands because Portugal... Portugal gets everywhere first. Taken over in they've taken over Africa. We need to get to the next part. It's the only way. But yes. We need to explore the next lands. Okay, how is our uh, limits? 21. We can build one more boat. Is this like CK2? Yeah, it's the same people who made CK2, except for it's based upon the years of 1444 to about 1821. So the game is based upon trying to make you have a feel sense for that period of time. So there's less, it's not as role play -y. But I try, I tend to role play. I tend to immerse myself as much as possible anyway. Um, but that's just me. And I was about to build a ship. That's what I was about to do. I almost forgot what I was doing. I was like, what am I doing? Build a boat. Early Carrick. Let's build another Carrick. Build another boat for the fleet to go travel. Uh, the Doctrine of Particular Judgment. He's probably a heretic. Or sure, sorry, there's nothing you can do. Uh, it's probably a heretic. We got some papal influence. Let's do this. There we go. Mmm, tea, exactly. We'll bring all the tea to Denmark one day. One day at a time. Bring all that tea over. Poland, you at war? Can you go to war with someone, please? Uh, repair. Oh, I forgot to repair the loan. Yeah. Okay, repair the loan. I forgot all about the loan. Essentially, instead of playing as a dynasty, you're playing as a nation. Yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. Your dynasty can die, but you'll still play on as that nation. Liberty desire. Unless you get inherited by someone else, then you don't. Like, Swin's gone back up to 50 liberty desire, so they might try to get away. Uh, let's quarantine the port. Let them die. Don't let the disease out. 
Okay, everything's fine. Is he po hungry? Can you go to war with Poland? You hate Poland, see? You hate Poland. You don't like each other. Go to war. Go to war. Poland, declare war on them. Make no new friends and go to war with them. Dispute succession. Who's this? Scotland. Of course. Who would inherit it? Oh, I'll have someone from one of the, uh, I think the Irish houses would inherit it. Are you doing any other streams today? No, not going to be doing any other streams today. Just this stream. Uh, this stream, will, this, this series will continue for this week in celebration of the new Dharma DLC that's coming out. We'll continue with CK2 after. Um, but it's taken a little hold because the new DLC is coming out. Oh, look at a jam. George is doing pretty good. Ottomans, as usual, doing pretty well, as you expect. Hungary's going to have to try and hold them off from the rest of Europe. Uh, England does not consider me a rival. Free thinker as well. Idea cost has gone down. Ooh, that's a nice one. Good job. Chris has been a good leader. You know what? Our king has been... Christopher's been a good leader. Oh, no, that's his son. His son is a free thinker. Okay. Well, he's still been a good leader. 36, he's still got many years ahead of him. His son is not as good, but it could be much worse. So we'll be fine. I'm still a great power, actually. Yeah. I keep forgetting. I keep feeling we'll disappear off that, but we never do. No one's been able to curtail us so far. Peasants again angry. These things happen. These ten we can do that. Administration power's not a big deal. Legitimacy? We could lose legitimacy. Yeah, I could do that. Not a big deal of us. I have no tissue. Okay, so I can't actually get any tissue. Can't blow my nose, which is driving me crazy. Uh, government reform's taken a while. New idea. We're not going for that game. We're getting the next colonial range part. We need to get that. We need to explore more of Africa. We'll get there one day. Game, we'll get there one day. We'll get the Africa and we can get to India from there. Once we do. How's the empire? Okay, Austria's now got back their vote. So they're going to become emperor once again. Once they die. That's a shame. But the Palatinate only needs one more vote. Come on, someone vote for the Palatinate. Their family. Our military leader has died. Explorer Tywin is dead. No. The explorer Tywin has died. It's a sad day for everyone. We'll put these ships together. We had never explored though, didn't we? Is he st yeah, he's Harold's still alive. There you go. Angie, we ever do an Age of Heroes Seeker 2 series? Age of Heroes. I don't know. I, I I can never say never, but I just don't know. It depends. Time is just so little. There's so little time these days for me to be able to do as much as I, I would like to do. But we will see. Uh, St. Clair's Monastery. Okay. King John I and Queen Christina founded the St. Clair's Monastery in Copenhagen in 1497 with a gift of the former Royal Vegetable Gardens in an area known as Rosengard. The Queen made a donation of 40 Rhenish guilders for construction of the monastery in 1498. Seven years later, the monastery was completed and consecrated. So we gained papal influence and prestige. There we go. Uh, Austria is now the Holy Roman Emperor once again. That's a shame. He just died. Could have been a good chance for someone else to get it. Maybe one of our family could have got it, but sadly not. Uh, Savoy's still alive. Burgundy's still alive, actually. We're getting quite far in now into the 1400s. Venice has not been kicked out of there just yet. We can now go for this. That's good. And can we get colonial range again? We cannot. Shipyard. I don't think can help with that. What buildings can help? Is there any buildings that can help trade? It's called trade power. Production. Taxation. Navy. Sailors. Shipyard. Shipyard does not help, no. Okay, nothing helps to increase uh, colonial range. That's a shame. We do have new things we can explore. Okay. North Atlantic. West African Sea. That's what we need. American. No. Cab no. African. We're going to Africa. Go! Find us something that the Portuguese have not taken. Please. Please, my people. But mission fulfilled. What did we do? Uh, high income. Okay. There you go. We got the high income one there. Great. Everyone's happy about that, I guess. Completed a few ones here. A few ones here. Brandenburg. What's going on, Brandenburg? And you, oh, you're not even a von Habsburg anymore. 
We need to get that. Why are you never married? Break royal ties. Why is it never us? It's always a damn von Habsburg. Stop marrying Austria. Everyone marries Austria. It's oh okay. Muscovy is destroying Novgorod. <laughs> Why did Poland not help? You mean Poland? Well, if I did, I could get Muscovy in, but they're too busy with Novgorod. And Brandenburg would not help right now. So we'll have to wait and see. Why are they not help now? What's going on with Brandenburg? Minus 11. Brandenburg is 35 in debt. Okay, so they're in debt right now. That's why. Okay, we'll wait and see. How the, oh, the boats got there. Okay, we have to come back with the sun and back to go get the coast. If we can just find something. Something. So we can get on. Look, maybe there's some land over here. I, I can't remember where exactly it is. I think there's, there's some you can get here. Production research is flawed. Administration power. Let's go for that one then. And this one. Okay, get the military tech up. There we go. Military tech is... Okay, they're all catching up now of administration. Yeah. And we're done with that. Good, good, good. Okay. Just need those ships to come back. They'll be blood. How are they doing? Ships okay? 100%? They're all looking great. Some nations conquer their way to power. The Habsburgs inherit their way to greatness. We lost a claim on a province. That's fine by me. We can't... You know, as, as Austria is the emperor, we can't really destroy them for now. We can't do anything with the HRE unless we get some allies to destroy the HRE, but we don't have that right now. France could be someone. Who, if you had France as an ally taken on Austria, maybe then would be a good choice, but not for us. Can we get the coast now? North Atlantic, West African coast. There we go. Let's go for the coast. We need a new rival. Hungary and England. Austria, Burgundy, Muscovy, Poland. Well, Burgundy's my enemy, so let's go for Burgundy. There we go. Burgundy's not a threat to us, really. We make them an enemy. There we go. Perfect. I didn't want to, but they pushed it. They pushed it. Poland, go to war, please. Please go to war. We can attack you. Money's okay. They always keep things as they are. What year is it? 94, isn't it? 94. We've got 10 more years. We may be able to inherit Norway or Sweden, for example. Okay, now we can see. And there are places to get. Can we reach them? We've got a 413. They're five. It's so close. Look at that. It's like 100 more. Just need 100 more. How are we going to get 100 more? Now, trade range won't do it. Trade range won't do it. Yeah. We're going to go for... It's going to take a while. It's going to take us maybe another... It's going to take us a few more years, but i got to hope that Portugal doesn't take all of these. Because we just need to get... If we can get to here, that'd be great. We can then move on to the rest and get round Africa, get to India as quickly as possible before, you know, the Indian nations become more powerful or anything and before any other European nations get there and get all the things we can. Okay, never exploration's done. While you've done that, I don't think there's anything else in Africa you can do, is there? Caribbean, American, North Atlantic, North... Yeah, so just go and see other things for now. Might as well. Caribbean Sea, North Atlantic, South America. Go do that. Yeah, go do that. Whatever. I'm not bothered. Just do it while you've got nothing else to do. Dangerous ideas are spreading. We are concerned. One stability again. Uh, expansionist. Global settling increase. We don't need that. Black news. If only you got something for colonists, that'd be great. Hmm. Spew successions, nothing too bad for me. Okay, development of cold is increased. See that colonist thing there is really good. Really useful. As you do stuff like that. Just getting that up while you haven't got anything else to do. Selling of indulgences, tax it, gain 21 ducats. We don't really need it. The papal state would hate me. Um, it's just church business. Yeah, we're not bothered. How's the new DLC? Um, I'm liking it. I haven't been able to experiment it with much. Like the whole government stuff reforms, I haven't been able to really experiment it with much yet. We need to get further in to see how it really affects things. Uh, same with the uh, policy system. I've not had much chance to use this either, so you know. Um, benign neglect. 
Demos complete exploration and innovative. You go for that. So yeah. I haven't really been able to experiment with this much yet. So your free administration policies act at the same time. You have free do this is a diplomatic one. Okay, so it counts as a diplomatic one. Okay. Um idea. We can go for this pragmatism, mercenary maintenance. Now we're ahead on that. Courthouse. I don't need number of states, don't need. Let's go for that then. The missions and stuff and how India works looks really good. I I, I did a little bit of practice in India to see the stuff there. I, I really enjoyed the stuff in India. But I want to see... That was my practice before I started the stream. But I want to see what it's like um, from the outside. If you're not playing in India, how does the AI handle India? And if you get to India, what can... You know, the stuff of the uh, trade companies and stuff. I want to do that. So that's why I'm doing that right now. Um, global settler increase. It wouldn't help yet. Just stay on to getting... The uh, Diplotech up. That's what we want. And my nose is going to kill me. I need to get some tissue. I'm just going to go crazy. One second, guys. My nose is going to go crazy. Bubble and butter. Hello. Ah, there we go. Exploration finished. Good job, everyone. Wasn't even here and we explored the world. Now we got another age uh, we can get here. What can we go for? High developed colonies? We, it might be good because we will be doing colonies, but it's just be Africa and it's just to get to India. Once we get to India, we don't really need that. Um, I guess we go for Australia and stuff. But we won't get there in this, this time, this age of discovery yet. Combat bonus. Yeah, we won't get there by that time. War taxes. Expansion. We don't need it. We're not really declaring war. Unrest. Uh, unrest might just be good just to make sure. We're in a capital. Probably won't need that. Yeah, I, I think uh, we'll go for this. Feudal de jour law. There we go. Let's go for that. Um, explore. Go for North Atlantic just because, you know, we got Norway's got land up there. There we go. Done. All right. Apologies, no one wants to see a guy blow his nose, but there's something in the air. There's something in, I'm allergic. To I've never been allergic in England, but where I live now, I, I'm allergic to, like, just the air, I feel like. I'm just allergic to the air. It's insane. Um, but, yeah. Caribbean coast, North Atlantic Sea. Go there. What's this? Teutonic order? Well, you're dead anyway, so who cares? Um, <laughs> poor Teutonic order. Poland is at war. Teutonic order. Magdeburg. Reader. This might be our time. And Muscovy has finished with Novgorod. I'm very scared of Muscovy. But we need the help against Poland. And Poland actually joined without any help. Now, yes, I, Dikau, I do think it is pollution, yeah. It, it's so ridiculous. Because um, I've never had any um, anything like that before. I was always quite lucky. Now, we can attack. I like the Venice actually now, which could be a problem. Uh, Brandenburg will not help yet. Attitude towards the enemy, except him would destabilize Brandenburg. Is they have an alliance or something? What is they have a peace tree with them? What's, what is this? They have any peace with? We're dumb. What's going on? Denmark, Austria. Why did he destabilize them? Fools. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think. This could be the time. Look at that. 31,000 men. I think it might be time to attack them. Uh, agreed. When I visit my relatives in China, I always find the air is insufferable. Yep. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's it's crazy. Like, it, 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 I think a lot of people, when they live in a country that doesn't have that sort of pollution, they don't really think it could be that big a deal. But it really does. It's, it's fun. And most of the time when you first get it, you probably wouldn't think a big deal either. But... Over time, you'd realize that actually, yeah, it's kind of a big deal. And when you see how it affects people. 
I think we have to attack Poland, don't we? We have to. Okay, let's get the men ready then. Let's get the men ready. Okay, guys, stop. Stop your drilling. You've been drilling for long enough. Uh, how is your professionalism? They're almost to the next level, though. Oh, no. May refill the garrison. Oh, well, get ready for war. Let's march on. March on. March on. It's off to march we go. And we're going to kill them. We'll kill Poland. We'll kill them all. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, exceptional year. Take advantage of the benefits. Uh, now, no. Natural tax offer. Now, they might just win their war very quickly. So I'm a little bit worried. Because that's Teutonic. That's, Chit that's it. They just got to take that and they've won. So actually, this might not be a good idea. Yeah, this, this will probably just turn into nothing. As soon as they capture that, they've won. Let's see what happens. If they capture that and they make peace, we won't go to war. I don't see why I wouldn't. Uh, that's done. Exploration. Caribbean Sea. Okay, go explore. Using Norway as a place to go. Can we actually get... Oh, we can't even see this yet. I should have done that. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Explore. Uh, North Atlantic Coast. Go see. Maybe we could just get one there just for fun. Let's say it's not our main aim. But until we can actually get here. Yeah, there's no point, is there? We might as well do something, if we can. Yeah, we go for the new world and India. Britain did it. Why can't Denmark? Britain did it. Why can't Denmark? Yeah, that's that's my thinking here. Still being taken. Exploration. It takes them so quick. They're so quick. Um, can we even get here? No, it's actually further away. Okay, okay, fine. Um. Your call, game. Your call if you think that's further away. Idiots. Uh, this is their choice. Let's leave that. Uh, Kill Dare's doing a good job. We could see United Island here. We actually might, because England's not been able to concentrate on Ireland to get beat them down. Uh, Denmark is a superior red blob on the map. Yes, we are more superior than England. Must defeat Poland then. 29%. It could be peace very soon for them. We got that up. The next one, Colonial Ridge plus 50. That might be enough because we get plus 50%, don't we? So that'll be 375. So uh, 325, half of that, 160. It might just not be enough. That's a shame. Yeah, it might not be enough even to get there. Unless we can get like an advisor. No, we don't have an advisor for that. That's a shame. Might not be able to reach it yet, but it's what we got to deal with. We'll, we'll get there one day. We will get there. I'm, I just realized Sweden's actually happy right now. Or at least, you know, they're not trying to escape. So that's good. No, I don't want you to do that. Go back. Go back. Okay. Explore. Go there. Go, 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 my good boats. Go. Sail. Search. Love. Kill. Uh, plus 23. Teutonic order. Minus 23. They're still, they're still fighting. Doesn't seem like... I just wish... Br if Brandenburg could join, this would be perfect. This would be the perfect war to declare. Teutonic order's got 6,000 men here. Uh, Lithuania is right. <laughs> Lithuania and Poland are right on the doorstep. Yes, because they're taking, they're trying to attack Lubeck, who have actually taken some land, which is interesting. Hmm. Let's just uh, let's leave them to their own divide. You know what? While they do that, how about we just drill? Let's gonna drill. Um, unexpected explorer. As a ship entered the Bay of Kiara, a small crowd of natives was gathered on the beach and was silently regarded in the expedition. The ship's mast jumped into a spontaneous and cheerful dance to the accompaniment of pipes. The natives started laughing, which broke the tension. Food and drink was brought. Uh, you needn't. You don't need Brandenburg. I don't know. You gotta be careful in this game. You know, one wrong move and you're dead. That's the interesting thing about EU4. 
Um, I wanted they to show great interest in the ship, the swords and other pieces of equipment brought by one of the expedition members. With the help of the translator, the young woman spoke of her knowledge of the nearby islands and her great desire to see more of the world. Bring her with you. Regain explore with five tradition. Prepare for the stay where she is. Administration power. Do I need administration power? Um, it'd be just for the idea. Technology cost minus 10% could be useful to get the Diplo tech down. Institution embracement cost. I think I might actually just go for the administration. I don't think I need her right now. You know, let's go for that. Because we need to concentrate just on Diplo tech to get the colonization stuff up. Uh, the menace from Alagos. And we had this already. Uh, we don't care. They can gain aggressive. It's, if they return, kill them. Uh, we, we're already being mean. Denmark has been very mean to natives. That's what you guys chose. Uh, Drunk could explore. One of the expedition members, an explorer of all people, managed to get himself into a dreadfully embarrassing situation when he overestimated his own capability of handling the fruity liquor the native of Sergipe brew. Fruity liquor? Did you bring some back? Healy prestige goes down. Okay. Our prestige is already pretty good. So, I'm not too worried about that. 25,000 men on the doorstep, though. Probably not a good idea to attack. We got slightly less men. Scotland having problems as usual. Someone else, come on. Someone else attack Poland. Someone actually strong attack Poland. <laughs> Nobles demand increased. Oh, they're still Brittany. Uh, pensions, accept it. We could probably uh, lose one stability. Nah, accept it then. Accept it. We can lose that. I'm not bothered about that. We're not bothered about that. Don't tell me what to do. Exploration's finished. Okay. And explore American East. There we go. Go, go, ship, sail. They're exploring quite a bit. We're exploring quite a bit of the world. The Queen Consul of the people. People are ours to look after. She has our support. Minus 60 ducats. Administration power, but national rest. We don't need national rest. Yeah, we have more important mats. We don't need national rest to go down. No one cares. Uh, can we reach these these further? These look like further away. 514. 481. If we could reach one of these, it would allow us to get to Africa as well. So we could just get one of these so we get to Africa. Okay, next time we do the tech, we can definitely get to one of these at least. And that will help us get to Africa as well. So if we can't reach Africa, we go for one of these. But we just got to hope that we can get Africa. Hope no one takes this. I don't think we will, though. That's 50%, yeah. It'd be 325 plus 160. So, yeah, we thought, yeah, it wouldn't be enough. Wouldn't be enough. Still wouldn't be enough, would it? Protestant Reformation. Okay. Age of Discovery is ending very soon. <laughs> ah, but there is the Protestants. Do we join the Protestants? National tax modifier. Improve relations. Center of Reformation will appear. Now, have there already been some that appeared? Has anyone chosen it yet? No one's chosen it. Do we want to? It might be not good because Norway and Sweden both... A Catholic. We want to keep them under our thumb. We almost got to the point now where we could inherit Norway and Sweden. So I don't want to put that into a problem. Technology cost goes down. We'll get that. Thank you very much, game. And yearly naval tradition has been given to us. There we go. We need 1,369 power to get the next level. That still wouldn't allow us. God, being a colonial power as Denmark... Getting to India is going to be more difficult than I expected. It's going to be a lot more difficult because we didn't beat bloody Cape Verde. We didn't get there first. The damn Portugal. If we could have just got here first in Portugal, can, can we destroy their colony? Just like send some men to kill them. Damn them. Damn you, Portugal. You get all the nice stuff. What's this one again? It's so far away, isn't it? Yeah. You wouldn't think it was that far away. These are closer than that. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Should Portugal. They're gonna get to to uh, they're gonna get to India before me. Take all the tea for themselves. Because everyone knows that's, that's the only reason you go to war is to get tea. Now, Lithuania's 
Lithuania is no longer underneath Poland. <gasps> what? I mean, I'm happy. But why is Lithuania no longer underneath Poland? Okay. Now, exploration ideas. We can do that. Take the shortcut. Okay, Poland. If I attack you right now. You eyed the France, you son of a... You son of a... You... <laughs> I had the France when I wasn't looking. Okay, Lithuania. Let's attack Lithuania. Claire, I haven't got any claim on Lithuania. Ah, Poland, you son of a... Okay, we need to wait for Poland to become enemies of France. That's the only way. France would not become my friend. Okay. So we need... Yeah, we have to wait for that to destabilize the emperor. God damn you. Stupid France. I mean, stupid Poland. Whatever they are. Exploration's finished. Ah, Matlep. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard. Explore. Poland with a sneaky French. I know. It's, nothing's really... No opportunity's really presented itself to us. It's the 1930s all over again. Nothing's really presented it to us. But that's fine by me. You know, I say, well, our concentration's on India. And if we can just eat up Norway and Sweden, you know. Denmark's just about... I always find Denmark's a really interesting nation in EU4. Because it's kind of like that nation where if you don't make mistakes... You'll be fine. That's really it. Because you got you start off obviously with the vassal and the two personal unions. So as long as you just keep things stable, you're fine. If you make a wrong one wrong move, go into a war you shouldn't have, things can really deteriorate. Um, so you need to be careful of that. That's the sort of thing you need to be careful of. Lubeck, I don't like you. You're dumb. Let me attack you. Austria, let me attack your vast let me attack the Empire, please. You don't care about the empire. No one does. And let's all vote for Austria. Austria's kept them together this long, yeah. Stupid Austria. But just two more years and we can inherit potentially um, Norway and Sweden. And I've run out of drink. I'm gonna, just no caffeine now for me. I'm going to keep... Oh, Morocco took back their lands from Portugal. Morocco controls this. I just attack Morocco. Stability goes down, you know, just to tap Morocco to get, you know, some land there. Family ties, this is what kin means. Gain 10 diplomatic power. Brandenburg's opinion goes up. Okay, that's, that's good. Good job, Brandenburg. Good for you. Regency for the kid. Okay, so nothing, no problems with their inheritance or anything. The Palatinate, though, has a very old guy in charge, and they are family. War between Austria and Denmark. Oh, no. He's 67. We could inherit the Palatinates. Now, I wonder if I... I can't see my royal marriage. I wonder if I see my royal marriage. Would that actually help at all? Let's just have a look. You know? I could, I could claim the throne, maybe. Because... A war of Austria would not be great. Um, who's the threat? Hungary. Brandenburg. You know, they've got they've got some very upsetting allies there. So I'm not sure we could... Uh, Muscovy might help me. Maybe. Or betray me. If Muscovy helps, it would be a good battle. Um, but if not... Oh, no, Austria's probably got a ton of men, haven't they? They've been emperor for ages. 29,000 men. Muscovy has 35,000. Hungary is only... It'd be pretty even, I think. It'd be a pretty good fight. And the, it's not exactly great land, is it? They're just, like, in the middle. Like, a bit here. They lose the other... Have you lost all your land? Is this it? That's it. You lost your other land. You used to have land over here. And more land, I'm sure, over here. You lost all your land. Why do I even want this piece of land? It's just one piece in the middle of the HRE. Why do I want this? It's probably the worst thing I could get. Okay, now it's time. Norway. Is there a chance we can inherit you? Inherit it. Minus 2%. There you go. Hmm. That's uh, not a great chance. There. Stability. Okay. Size of country. Minus 18. Uh, same culture group. And dip diplomatic reputation is a big factor. Okay. Sweden. Minus 10%. Size, we need to increase our size then, don't we? That's the thing. Yeah. 
or increase our stability. It's the only way. I accept, I'll accept the Swedish people. Your states will be promoted. There's only 10. Okay. Possible war succession. Oh, it's happened. Harsh life on the ocean. Okay. Okay. My lord. Or drilling. Maneuver. Oh, it's maneuver went up. Great. Well, it's maneuver went up even more. Great. That's even better. Um, the rule of the Palatinate has died without leaving a direct heir. They will join in a union with Austria unless we contest it. If we contest it, it will create a succession war over the Palatinate. My council, my council, do we go to war with Austria? Hungary, they got Brandenburg. I guess I'm the aggressor. I keep, I keep I, Kilroy. It's, it's, just, it's literally one piece now. That's all the Palatinate is right now. I'm trying to make sure if there's anything else. Uh, they, they seem to have lost whatever they used to. They, and they're normally bigger. They're usually a bit separate. No, yes, no. So Kiro says yes. Takao says no. Even even the council is separated on this problem right now. I want to go to war because it is family. And it should be ours. Yes, fight to bring the tea to the Palatinate. Uh, and also it would increase our it would increase our position. You know, because I said there's not the whole strength thing with Norway and Sweden. Um but fighting Austria is going to be difficult. Okay, Austria has 29,000 men. They can have 46 if they want. Can you win? That is the question. Muscovy, there was 42,000 men. If Muscovy helps me, I can win. Yeah, that, that's really it. If Muscovy helps, I can win. I can fight Hungary. And if Muscovy fights Austria. If he can, then do it. I don't know if our allies will help us, though. Distant war. They might not want to. They might not want to get involved. It's such a small thing that it doesn't feel worth it. What do I gain? I can't even expand from that. I don't think it would be possible. We could expand his claims, maybe, and get his things back, and then eat it. That's a good point. a good point it's just the whole alliance i don't know who's gonna help me that's the problem we don't know who helped us and if it goes badly wrong we could lose sweden and norway hmm let me check the council what they said let's see what the council did say one said yes one said no yes fight to bring the tea that's two for yes one for no can you win if you can then do it i'm not sure so i'm gonna put that yeah, it's pretty evenly split between you guys. Damn it! Damn you damn nations! How are we going to know if we can defeat them if we don't even know who we are? Or what we're doing? Council's divided. I'm divided. Ah! Can't decide. Denmark, please! Help me. King Christopher. Christopher, you must... Is Chris here? Chris, are you here? Did Chris vote? He did not. Is Chris even here still? If Chris is here, he can make the deciding one. Do as you will, my lord. Don't say that, Kilroy. Don't say that, because that makes me not know what to do. Actually, I don't think you can win. Don't do it. Muscovy's army is less early mill bonus, and they'll have to work so, so bloody far with the war goal. Really hard to keep control of all that province. Yeah. Okay, you convinced me, Dikau. Okay, I need. I just need someone to talk me out of it. That was. I think that's what I needed. I needed someone. To, I, I knew it was a bad idea. I need someone to talk me out of it. Their military tech is five, eight. That is eight. It's pretty even. Yeah, that's a good point. We'll back down. It's literally one piece. It's one piece of land and HRE. Yeah, I'm not I'm not taking that. Good point. Fine. Bavaria would be a better one. They're still the family. We're the only two left of the family. We can still get them. Plus, I'd be over my uh, diplomatic relations as well. So, yeah. Uh, may we fill the garrison with the next level. We can purchase another ability. Um, combat and the Bonus in the capital. Improve war taxes, I think, would be the next one. Yeah, improve war taxes. Let's go for that. There we go. Done. Thank you, game. So, yeah. Uh, we're losing money. Golden era for France. Good for France. I guess, they, I guess they like that. Why am I spending all this money? 
colonies. Not really a colony, is it? We've almost got enough for the next government reform. That'd be good. Please let me... Please let me um, inherit you. Minus 2%. percent will never happen. Yeah, I'm going to have to expand. If we want to inherit those lands, we're going to have to, look, we're going to, have to attack Poland as soon as we can. Yeah, because we need to try and take that land. France. No, oh, it's Lithuania now. God damn. Stupid game, but Lithuania, if I could get, I can't get a claim on Lithuania. Yeah, they're not close enough. Novgorod is, uh, with the Ottomans, in, that's an interesting alliance there. I'll give them that. This is part of the HRE. We'll let time go by while I check this stuff. Part of the HRE, Lubeck is part of the HRE. Can't attack those guys. Part of the HRE. Burgundy is not part of it. Now, I could attack Burgundy? But we can't get a claim. I need to get Norway so I can attack Scotland. That's what I, that's what I want. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, we could go after Scotland. They're guaranteed by France, though. Or well, they were guaranteed by France. No, they are still guaranteed by France. Okay, no, they're, all they're actually allied. France, stop getting in my way. Stop this. Stop this insanity. Uh, the Papal State and Utrecht. England would be a bad choice. But we would not be able to conquer any provinces. So I wouldn't be able to get a foothold on England at all. We can't fabricate a claim. You can balls up with no CB war on the Irish miners. That's a good point. We could go for no CB war. That's a good point. I always try and keep out of that. But we could just do it. We could just go for that. It would make sense. Even like England. No CB war in England, potentially. Minus two stability. We'd have to increase stability at least twice. Reward exhaustion would go up, but that would be easy. Brandenburg would help, but no one else would help. Um, and you're right, probably would be best to go then just for um, an, someone in Ireland. Like, even Kildare, which has no allies. No allies. No one would help them, but Kildare would have to protect themselves. And that'll give us a nice little stronghold here, which we could then use to do a claim on Scotland. But would I be able to core them? That's the question. Um, would I be able to core them? There is the <laughs> Isle of Man. Uh, we could go for the Isle of Man. It's a difficult one. It's a difficult one, yeah. Yare France. France is a dispute succession, okay. Exploration. Yes. Um, I was gonna I was gonna look at something and I've forgotten what I was gonna do. Royal Marriage of Muscovy, that sounds good to me. Frederick and the Danish people. Bavaria's opinion of Denmark goes up. That's nice. Okay, new Queen Consort, Yulia. Um Oh yeah, we got the new king. I just I didn't even think realize that our king had died. Uh free thinker, two two five is not great at that sort of thing, but that's fine by me. Uh, we're probably going to need an heir, hopefully, at some point. Hopefully, that comes soon. I was about to do something else, and I've forgotten what that was. I keep forgetting what I was about to do. I keep about to do something, I always forget. I'm not going to remember. Oh, yes, increase stability. That's what I want to do. We like plus one stability. I always like plus one stability. That's what I want. I can even just attack Portugal. <laughs> no CB on Portugal. Um, France, though, and Castile, though, are fight. <gasps> Ooh, Aragon, Naples. The people say Portugal. What is this for? Attack a French conquest of Navarre. Okay, this might mean French France won't help Poland. Um, but the Mosquito Beast. Before we went on the expedition, we had heard tales of an explorer by the name of Hanno, who had found an island populated with pursuit and savage people. Hanno had made attempts to capture the males, which failed, but three females were taken. Okay. The ferocious nature forced the explorer to kill them and bring a proof of their set these savages. Uh, their skins were preserved for transport. These people were called Gurile by the interpreters traveling with Hanno. We assume the ape-like species we found in Mosquito must be these Gorilla Hanno spoke of. They can be tamed with some baubles, gain 50 diplomatic power. We want diplomatic power, yeah. Money, we don't want that. Diplomatic power is what we want. Poland. How, you didn't join the war though with France. They didn't invite you to help them. Okay, that should be a tough war for France. I mean, unless there's lots of allies for them. 
Ferrara. No, it should be a tough one. Okay, wait till France gets beaten up a bit. And then we'll attack Poland. Yeah. This this could this could be our opportunity here. This could be what I've been waiting for. Just to take some land. Poland, give me claims. Spy. Spy on them all. France and Castilla have bad inheritances. What would happen if you died? Von Mecklenburg could take over the Kingdom of France. And if he died, de Avis, one of the family members from uh, Portugal, could take over the Castile throne. That could be concerning for the future. Let's wait and see. Oh. We are now the papal controller. Oh, <laughs> I did not expect this. Okay. We are another papal controller. I'm in charge of the Pope. Okay. Excommunicate France. Please. Um, excommunicate. You have no diplomats to send. What? There we go. Excommunicate. Do you wish to excommunicate? Yes. <laughs> we should excommunicate. What about Poland? How about we excommunicate Poland? No, we cannot. England? No. Scotland? No. France, we can. Okay, I like this. France does like us, but, you know, they're getting in my way. And Austria, we can't really do anything about them. Lithuania? No. Okay, France. Excommunicate France! We, we are in charge of the Pope. We might as well use it. Call a crusade upon the Ottomans. Call a crusade upon the Ottomans. Do you wish to call for to give the Catholic countries significant manpower and income boost while at war with the infidel? Yes. Anyone to hold back the Ottomans, I think. We need to just have a crusade against them. Um, I don't care. I'm not going to go to war. <laughs> I'm not going to go to war. People, Pope, tell everyone to go to crusade against the Ottomans. There we go. Exploration is finished. See, we're manipulating everyone now. Denmark is in charge. Are we any... No! No! Portugal! There's only one place left that's close by. Uh, chaos is a ladder. Last during prayers. Chaos is a ladder. France isn't looking great right now. They're losing. It's 17% already, though. France would not join. Here we go. Brandenburg would join. Muscovy would join. Lithuania, though, would join. So we got to deal with that. This is our time. If we're in 23,000 men, probably 25,000, that's a lot of men. But Muscovy's bringing 42,000 men. I'm bringing 21,000 men. Sweden brings 15,000 men. I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, where's Brandenburg? Brandenburg? Brandenburg, do you have any men? You have 8,000, 8, great. Good job. Good job, Brandenburg. Okay. Let's go. This is the chance we've been waiting for. And the France is excommunicated. They're fools. What do we have here? We can build one more man. We'll build one more man and we'll go and attack. We have 50. We can build one more horse. Build another horse. No, build another man. I say build a man. Not horse. Because we might need them to do some, uh, you know, sieging down of stuff. Um, or I can just declare war and let our men go in. Let's do it. I will take the island. The island is mine. Venice will be a problem. Venice is kind of the big problem here, because I think Venice actually have quite a few men. Now I think about it. 13,000? That's Swedish. That's Swedish numbers. Uh, this is going to be a pretty even fight. I'm pretty worried. But we got we got to do something, haven't we? we, we we've been staying... Stay, we've been sat here pretty long enough. Denmark goes to war. It is done. I've made a decision. I'm dumb. I'm stupid, but we've done it. It's the worst decision I'm ever going to make, but that's fine. I mean, it is this full um, war taxes. Let's go. Fight for the glory of Denmark. While we can't colonize, we can still fight. Let's go. Now, what does that do? Lose five armed professionalism? No, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Uh, we'll wait for that guy to be built. We'll wait for your morale to go up. There you go. 22,000 men! And if we need mercenaries, we have we have decent... We don't have decent money coming in anymore, but we did. We used to have decent money coming in. Here we go. Okay, Lithuania, Venice is here. 
We do have more men. Far, we, not far. We have no cannons. Can I build cannons? I can build a cannon. Oh, why didn't I build a cannon? Damn it. I should have built some cannons. We have no cannons. This worries me. Um, <laughs> this worries me slightly. Um, I would love for my allies to come help me. Maybe I should join up with them. But yeah. We'll keep it as it is. We'll leave our men there for a second so they get the stuff up. Uh, Muscovy, it's going to be down to you to begin with. Are you at war with someone else? No, you're not. Okay, sure. Oh, that's good. Okay, I don't want you to be distracted. You send all your forces in to help out here. What's this? Peskov. Oh, Peskov's already got there. Good little Peskov. They know what they're doing. Brandenburg. Okay, we need to go support Brandenburg. I'm coming, Brandenburg. We better put down the speed a bit because phew, this could be our chance. If we get 100% here, 100% from Poland could be massive. And could allow us to then inherit Norway. So that would be big. If we inherit Norway, we could inherit Sweden. And by then, we might make it to India. Glory Road. The lookout reported signs of dwellings, but the ship had yet to see any natives until at long last a coastal village in Eskikawalkik was sighted. A small force disembarked and was hospitably received. Something that was attributed to the natives' fascination with the men who were taller in stature than them and bearded. The natives were beardless, and with some difficulty they managed to communicate that the myths and legends foretold of a time when the bearded gods would come from the sea to visit them. Ah, this is a promising land. Lovely. Lovely people. I had to blow my nose. War. Time to blow your nose. Hey, right. we're marching on in. Okay, how are things going up north? Okay, Sweden is going to go help them. Where's the rest of their men? Okay, so all the Swedish men are coming that way. The Norwegian men are also going that way. So they're all going to come from the north with Muscovy. That's good. The AI are hanging out together. I'm going to have to help Brandenburg. Now, the problem for us too is if Venice comes. If Venice comes to help, we could be in trouble. I would love to piece out Venice on their own. They're already medium. Uh, Poland. We just need to get Poland out. Okay. Now, I don't need to give Muscovy land either. They just, they joined to help us. But their men are now leaving. Is that because Lithuania are attacking that? Look at that. 20,000 men already marching in to attack their land. So we're going to have to be careful. Muscovy, they died. Who's leading the men? Oh, yeah. It's Royce's, it's Killian Royce's son, Freud Royce. He's leading the men, isn't he? How is this? This is just an easy place to take. Uh, We've got a place here. So let's just leave a man here and let's go to this fort up here. Let's take the forts. Let's make our way along the coast, I say. We don't want to go down there because that could get in trouble with Venice. There are Polish pretender rebels also down here, so that's good for us. They already have to deal with other problems. Now, there is another fort here we're going to have to deal with. We can't get to that one. We could take... We can't take that because they're taking that fort. We can't move there. Okay, we just go here then. Fine. Just move in there then. Move in everyone else. We have no cannons. I didn't buy any cannons because I forgot that we could get cannons yet. My mouse is broken, I think. It keeps double clicking. A force limit, is it still 20? Yeah, it's still 22. Okay. Just thought maybe we could get some cannons. Maybe I should buy some cannons. Just use some mercenary cannons, but we're losing money. Nope, we're getting money during this war, actually. That's good. Uh, a loan offer from Bohemia. Bohemia will be offering a loan of 150 ducats. We pay an interest of 2% yearly. I'm going to decline. We don't need it. But these 13,000 men are coming in. I can send 16. They're not locked in. Now, this is grasslands. There's no river. I could wait for them to get there. I don't see this, but they could, if they attack Brandenburg, we're in trouble. Because Brandenburg has less men. But I would like them to be locked into there. I don't think there's a river. What's this called? Tukolo. There's no river. Okay, let's get them locked in. I hope there's no Polish behind them, which there could be. Uh, the Menace from Chaser Peak. We've seen this one pop up before. Um, we don't care about them. Let's get the prestige there. We've got a lot of prestige right now. Oh, the Polish are here. 16,000 men. So that together, they have about 29,000 men. Together, me and them, we have about 30,000 men as well. So he's going to Kaliz. They're going to No Tech. This could be trouble. Now, up north, they're taking these lands. Peskov. 
Where are the Swedish ones? They're still not here yet. Are they going back? They're going back! Sweden? Where are you going? Okay, uh, Muscovy though is attacking Lithuania. They've pushed back Lithuania, it looks like. Yeah, I don't see Lithuania's men. Look at that Muscovy. Oof. That is... We cannot feed that beast. That has to be our key here. We can't feed that beast. But I need to figure out what we're going to do here. Do we attack Venice now that they're going to be locked in? And hope that Brandenburg come to join us. Because if me and Brandenburg join together, we can take on uh, Poland's enemies. No, 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 not the menu. Ledger. Poland. How many do you have? Where's going down to 22? Poland has 30,000 men somewhere. Okay, let's see what they do. Okay, now Brandenburg is moving back. There's more men coming up this way. As long as the Polish aren't near them, we're fine. 25th of July is when those guys will get there. Their plan is to stay there. Eight fast. There's a lot of men here. We might need to head off east and go join up with Muscovy or go north and try to take these lands. And I, I don't think we can get there. Because this is too many men for us to take on. And we can't move back. In fact, we're trapped technically right now. Okay, Pomerania, could I have some access? Thank you. That would be very nice. Okay, so Pomerania is giving me military access. No, no, no. Walk through Pomerania, you fool. Okay, let's try and take pull back a little bit. Maybe we got too many. I know we have too many nations game. Stop it. I need to get out of here. 27th. Can't let them attack us with too many men. Now, they're going to pause on the 30th. They're going to attack Brandenburg. Now, this is too many men that we can handle. Yeah. We could try and peace out Lithuania. If Muscovy can beat Lithuania, we could peace them out. So you have to go all the way north. I might do that, actually. Let's do this. Head back. Let's head, for Let's head through Pomerania. <laughs> head through Pomerania. Let's head back. Let's go around the north. We'll just have to, we'll just have to uh, sacrifice Brandenburg, I think. Or at least pull back for now and see if we can help them. Uh, there's no need for us both to, like, just go on the offensive here when we've got to wait for Muscovy to come join us and Sweden and stuff. So let's leave it like that for now. Uh, maximum monarch power has been reached for our diplomatic one. Now, obviously we want to get technology that's why, but we obviously... Oh, it's almost there actually. The diplotech just needs to go down one more so I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to go for the idea. I'm going to keep that for now. Even though I kind of don't want to. But I can't see the enemy now. Can't see if, if that more men come. If they come into Brandenburg, maybe we can help Brandenburg to defeat enemies that come this way. It's going to be a difficult war. It wasn't going to be easy. Ten diplomat in the Palatinate. No, we're called diplomat. He's going to go attack, so I'm going to let him go, and we'll see if no one. He's got a two-star general. They can hold on for now. And if anyone comes to help support Venice, I'll have to be really careful. They get on the fifth of Sep. No, they get on the fifth of September. He gets on the fifth. I'll get there on the 11th. So we're going to do that for now. I don't see anyone joining in. So we should join in quickly now to help them. Come on, that's in Brandenburg. Take out Venice. Yes, while well, they're alone and cornered. There we go. So we took them out a little bit there. That's fine. So you get, we can hopefully white piece Venice if they get a little bit scared and leave. That's what we want. We can do a build in. Great. I don't need any of this though. We want force limit, ship repair. Know what we need. We just need um, colonialization. That's all I want. All I want is colonialization. That's all we need. What are we actually uh, getting here? We got livestock. 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 Okay, a lot of fish. A lot of cows here in Denmark. Uh, shipping, fish. A lot of fish and cows. Lots of cows and lots of fish. Gotland? Oh, Gotland makes a bit of wool. Well, it makes a bit of wool. Okay, that's something a little bit different, I guess. And we'll pull back, though. It didn't really help us that fight. Like I say, I'm hoping that Muscovy can come in on this side. And are they fight. Is that another fight going on down here? Yes, the Great Horde is attacking Lithuania at the same time. Okay, that's nice. And how's France? France is still at war. As long as they stay in their war, that's fine by me. They are losing as well. Okay, now Muscovy's building more and more men. 
Sweden is... Norway is going down into Muscovy, the help. Sweden's got 3,000 men. Where's the rest of... 12,000 men. Okay, they're coming down to help me now. <laughs> okay, well, I, I'm not sure if Sweden are just pretending to help and bringing men down this way, or they actually are coming down here to help. Uh, Brandenburg's going that way, which... Okay, I'll I'll keep I'll go down Pomerania's lands for a second. We'll see what if the Polish men are there. We'll see. There's a few Moldavia. Oh, Bohemia. Okay, because uh, I'm just worried. Maybe the maybe the Polar men are going to help Lithuania. Could be. I can't see though, and that makes it really scary. Every step forward is a scary push. We'll go and try and take this place. Okay, I see no one. We need to keep an eye. We need to keep an eye on this. If anyone pops out of nowhere, we need to get the hell out of there. Wish I could take that. If we could be on the coast, I could bring my ships. At least we could get some men out. But Poland down here right now fighting Brandenburg. And I can't... Brandenburg, why? I mean, they've got a minus for... Ooh. Brandenburg are doing... It. They're holding their own. But there's 13,000 more men about to come and attack, which is a shame. Brandenburg did a really good job there. They were holding on really well. But they shouldn't have gone off on their own. That's, you know, silly thing to do. And now they're probably going to come up to attack me. Everyone's still high. Okay. If Sweden comes to join me, we might be okay. If Sweden does come to join me, that's the question. Let's uh, zoom out so I can get a better picture here. Poland is 18,000. Poland's got men everywhere. Poland just built a ton of men, it looks like. To help fight here. Still just in this war, though. See no men popping out just yet. If we can capture this fort, that'd be a really big bonus for us. Exploration is done. Okay, thank you, game, for telling me. Uh, I guess we'll explore more. Explore that one. It's the last one we got for that. And we can invest in this one. There we go. That one's done. Now, can we actually colonize? I don't think we can. No! Someone else did it. England, you son of a bitch, England. Damn them. Okay, this one. 576. No, 488. Okay, 488. Maybe we could go for something like the Caribbean. 511. Are you kidding me? One of these then. I know one of these was close. 499. Are you... Oh. 496. 498. 500. Okay, that's the closest one. So we just need any more colonialism and we could get that. That's so annoying. What about that one? 570. So far away yet. They're further away. Okay, what about this? It's like north, kind of close now. 498 there. Okay, 498. 501. 508. Oh, Castile is already here. Good for you, Castile. 508. 409. How's that closer? How's that closer than this one? This game. It's 498 really is what we need to get anywhere. Isn't it? 602. What about that one? 467. Not getting that one. Yeah, we're just going to wait for one more, aren't we? Yep, we're going to have to wait for one more boost. There's this one. Trade range? No. How are you going to get... In? How are you going to get to India, game? Uh, retiring survivor cost... Pick the slot. Yes. Yes, we're going to have to, aren't we? We'll retire him. We need to hope... We'll, we'll retire one of these as well. We need to hope someone pops up. That's what I want. That one. Cost me a lot of money, but it opens up the slot. And we need it. We really do. Like, Sweden's coming up. Sweden, can you please be smart? Can you please not be dumb? Okay, I can see Poland's men. They're going down south. I don't see any up north. Good for us. This, this war could make a massive difference. They went to medium. Uh, Protestantism entrenched. Okay. No one else is medium. Okay. Captions. A golden era for England. First, they take that colony I wanted, which we couldn't get, I don't think, anyway. 
So I guess it's not a big deal. But first they take that. And now uh, Pomerania is a problem with their uh, war and their duke. Pomeranian noble succeeds. Okay, fine. A gift? Oh. A donation for... Bohemia just donated 200 gold. Bohemia really hates Poland. Please join me. <laughs> Please just join. Just declare war, Bohemia. Come on. Join us. Okay, so Sweden, they're going down the Venice, which could be good if Venice, uh, uh, Sweden and Brandenburg can take out Venice of the war. That would be really useful in the end. If Venice will come over here, there are 10,000 men. I don't see any enemies apart from the Polish over here. I'm a little bit worried where the Lithuanian men have gone. Were they killed? No, so 29,000 men about. Poland's got 36,000. Poland just building those men. They knew I was coming. They were like, okay, he's coming now. Let's, let's build for this then. So for casualties. No. If for casualties. Come on, game. Take it. Take the fort. Go, my friends. Go take Venice. It's not, it's not a big deal, but it just... Hopefully just taking out one of them would just make the others more upset, you know? Just weaken them in some form or fashion. It's pretty even now. It's actually really even the difference. So, yeah. We Any loss, any loss of battle is or any win is a massive difference now. Because the difference in our actual army forces is really close. We can see there some, Norwe some Norwegian men are killing off some of the Lithuanians, but more men keep getting added to it. They've got more men coming in to help. I'm hoping those guys are going to come join them. Sweden men as well. Brandenburg is attacking Venice. Okay, maybe that will allow us to push out Venice of the war. Not perfect, but the more we push them out, it's just Lithuanian Poland. We know we can beat just Lithuanian Poland. We know that. Because it means we don't have to concentrate so much on so many different forces. Look at that money. I should probably hire mercenaries. We're losing a lot of money as well. Maybe mercenaries could be good. 26 gold. It's going to cost us a lot of money. I just, it's just going to cost us so much money, isn't it? And the war taxes aren't giving me enough. Really. We're raising one. It's not giving me enough. What do we have? Colonial range. <gasps> we got it. We've got the man we wanted. Colonial range plus 20 percent. That should be it. 64 gold. It's going to cost us a lot of money, but we need him right now. He's 30 years old. He's not too old. Okay. Now, can I just click on the colony? Oh, look at that. England. Can we get this? No! <laughs> Damn it! We're so close, but we need to take off that uh, colonialist anyway. Let's get him off of that. Yes. Wait, what? Are you sure you want to stop? Okay, yes. Stop promoting. There we go. We got him back. Now, if we go to Africa, we can't get this. It's too far away. But we can <laughs> go to the New World and use that as a board to get to Africa. Because that makes complete sense. But that would be how we would do it. And there's a way too far away. There we go. We, we could get... We can finally get cards. I think we should just come here. That we're just off that. We go here. We can then use this as a, a board to jump into Africa, I think. I would assume so. It's weird, though, having Denmark go straight to here. Because that's not what I want. But, yeah, we want to we wanna go to Africa. Let's go. Let's go, then. Um... There could be some problems with some people that go against us, you know, rise up. We might want to be careful, but don't really have men to send. Um, but we're going we're gonna to start it. Colony starting, and that's going to cost me more money. We're going to be losing so much money right now. But it's for the war, and it's for the colonialism. And the Norwegian men got destroyed. Look at that, 50,000 men just sat there. Muscovy, you had... You really need to, like, get your men together. How does that... It says you, you have, like, 40,000 men. This does not feel like 40,000 men. Okay, I guess it is. Okay, I guess it is. At least we can see most of their men. Okay, Poland's medium. Poland, could I just have, like, uh... This? No? 
You'd never do it. At least need these 10 war score. Okay. Okay, fine, Poland. I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous. We may have made the wrong choice. What about white peace? No white peace. Okay. Okay, Poland, have it your way. We still have the advantage, just, of men. When I say the advantage, I mean it's basically not. We still haven't got this down to fall in. Conversion has been successful. Okay, Protestant. I didn't want it to be Protestant, but okay. Fine, actually, how is the religion? Now, Sweden and Norway are both staying Catholic. And Scotland has become Protestant. And, oh, okay, so these guys here become Protestant. They're spread Protestantism into Denmark. Those fiends. Of course they did. Most of the men are down here. Muscovy, move these damn men. They're going to be killed. They're going to be just destroyed. Muscovy, stop being stupid. Sweden. I mean, I'm taking this at least, so I guess there's that. Uh, Bavaria is getting destroyed by Trier. France has been attacked now by Burgundy. Ooh, France. This could be if France has made a bad move. But maybe so did I. We both maybe did. We both should have fought this through, shouldn't we, France? Okay, they're, they're the same, they, they've split off these men, though. That actually could be a good attack. If they get their men together and they really go for it. That could be a smart move by Muscovy. As Muscovy... Made a smart move here. A cross in there. 11,000 men are coming. But I think it's already too late. If they join that, they're not going to. It's already too late. Good job, Muscovy. Great job. Okay. But we need the war goal. I should have chosen a closer war goal, really. But if they can capture this fortress, they can go take the war goal. But that's all that matters. They have too few men. Why you stood here, then? Why, if you're too few men, why you stood there? It doesn't even make any sense. I'm sorry, my, my, I just had a brain aneurysm from the stupidity of Peskov. Okay, 21% chance here. We could get that. The primary is getting beaten down, which I don't want because I've got access through them. It's Lundberg. Uh, sorry, Lubeck. Lubeck is just... Exp I never see Lubeck expand, I feel like. I'm never going to get to India. How's the, how's the colony doing? How's that colony going? Is it is it there? It's almost there. We, have, we can't got any spare men to send, though. So that worries me. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I guess we now that we've got that, we don't need to concentrate so much on diplomatic. Because once that colony's done... Yeah, once that colony's done, we can get to Africa from that colony. Maybe. Potentially. Um, I, I'm not sure. We'll see. 43%. Come on, before the Polish get here. Is there a fight here as well? Did they win that one as well? I think they did. Good job, my allies. There was not accept white peace at the moment, so they're not going to accept anything. We need these guys to take this. If they take that, I think we could we could get Venice to peace out. Maybe, yeah. Probably getting peace out just white peace or something. Come on. Yes, we got it. Okay, this means we can now go to the shore. That's what I want. I want to go to the shore. We've now got that. We've now got a fortress as well. So they're going to be upset about that. It's a wood, so it's not a hill or anything. But it's still a good fortress to have. You know, a wood. And we can see what's going on. Now, can we move into here? We can. So how about we leave a man... Behind. Attach one there. Need to start increasing military power to hold new lands. Yeah. Let's move on. Move on. Go, go, go. Okay. 2,000. 6,000. Okay, they're marching in. 2,000 men there in trouble. Poland, anyone else declared war on you? No one's actually decided to take advantage of this. You'd think someone would see this as a chance to attack Poland, Hungary. You'd think you'd have seen this as a chance. But No. Apparently, Hungary's not as hungry as his name speaks of. You know, I thought it'd be a lot hungrier than this. Nothing else has popped up. Okay. There's no. There's a fort here. We need to go get that fort next, then. So, yeah. Okay. So you leave a man. Another man behind. Go to this one. We need to get this fort so we can go up here as quickly as possible. 
Um, and after that one, we should be able to go straight for this. That's not a fort, is it? It's no fort. Yeah, we can just go straight along. We just need to capture that. Capture all along the coast, because that's what we want anyway. Oh, you come to here. And in fact, you move to there. That guy will capture that. Uh, force migration against them. Okay, so we do have it... Yeah, so we've now got this. Denmark has its first colony. Huzzah! So there we go. We've got our first little colony right now. Our neighbor. We may be one of the first ones in the new world. Oh, no, no. We saw Castilla's up in the Caribbean. But we're the first in South America. Let's try it. Um, I would love to go to North America as well. You know, we might try and make a British kind of empire thing. But I say India is the main goal. India is our main objective. This whole campaign, we want to get that achievement. It's a cool little achievement, which I like the look of. I think it could be fun. Now, Musco uh, Norway may be pushing their luck a bit here. I don't know why they're pushing so far in. About 4% there. Okay, all the armies are pretty split right now, which is worrying me. Because number one, I can't see all the Polish armies and stuff, so I'm wondering if they're coming to attack me. There's a fort here, so we can't capture the ones around that. We could go for this one. It would take a long time to get there. Okay, just go around here then. Uh, Danish Florida, lol. It could be fun, you know. If I say India, have to, I'm going to concentrate on India first. You got to do that. If we go for the new world, it's because we haven't got any more colonists. We don't need the colonists for India anymore, you know, to get there. But once we get there, that'll be done. Okay, now capturing this one will be big. Once we capture this one... We can move on to the main war goal. And once we... Oh, they're actually getting this. Good job, everyone. Okay, if they can get that, they can go there as well. If we get the main war goal, this should be ours. Oh, and Brandenburg's army is moved. Yeah, they didn't lose, it looks like. They just moved on to Hungary. Okay, great, thanks. I thought you were going to kick out Venice. Maybe they don't need to. Maybe Venice is like no men left. How many soldiers are left on both sides? 52,000? 15? They lost quite a few. Yes, achievement first, of course. We would be I would be the first man to get the achievement. Actually, I could be. Except for anyone who works at Paradox. Maybe some of them have got it. But I could be the first not person working at Paradox to get it. Potentially. Because everyone's gonna be playing in India. Let them handle it. Local autonomy. Administration. Do I want to lose administration power? We're falling a little bit behind on that. Let them handle it. We're almost on the next government reform. Oh, wait, we can do it. How did I not notice that? Huh. It didn't pop up. Oh, yeah, it did. It did. I just didn't notice. Okay, there we go. So we get the next one. We can get the administrative cadre. Hmm. What do we want? Meritocratic recruitment. Advisor cost is minus 10%. Hmm. Uh, estate effect. Burgers, monthly loyalty plus 5%. And influence plus 10 uh, nobles of the robe. Leader cost is minus 10%. I don't think we need that. I think the advisor one's slightly better. Yeah, we don't need leader cost for that. Uh, leader monthly loyalty plus 5%. Administration clergy. Administrative free policies. Plus 1. Administrative free policies. Now, obviously, that's to do with the policy system. Plus 1. I don't think we need that right now. But it might be good in the future. That's the problem. I don't know if it would be useful for us in the future. Um, but right now, I'd say the merit meritocratic recruitment would be best. Let's go for that. There we go. So we're going for meritocratic recruitment. Done. Done and dusted. Okay, so we handled that. Okay. Good, good, good. Still taking that. How's things down south? Everyone happy? Lithuania is doing pretty badly against Muscovy. I don't see the Polish men, which really does worry me, because I'm starting to worry they're coming towards me. Like, here. Or here. Which would not be a surprise. Oh, they're actually looking really bad now. They're low. Would you be willing to give me? No, you would not. How dare you. We still need 10 war score. Okay. We capture this. We capture that. War's over if they stay like this. If everything stays like this, we've got this. Venice occupied Istria. They took it back. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, I was like, what? That's not my land. Um, but yeah, we took the... Uh, Brandenburg probably got that for us. 
It's going to take a while to get this down. Okay, we're going to increase speed because I feel quietly confident right now. There's still a lot of men out there, though. Still a lot of men. You're losing your great power states? No, this is why we need to win this war. If we win this war, we can keep our great power states. It must be done. It has to be done. Okay, increase speed. They took that. Now, please. Okay. Please. Um, Peskov, take the war goal. Does, do they have boats? They don't have any boats out. I guess, yeah, Sweden and us and Norway are a lot more stronger than them when it comes to the naval forces. So, they're probably not pushing that. Please. Oh, they're going, aren't they? Yes, they are. It won't take them long to get that. There we go. 27th of May. They sh it shouldn't. It's not a fortress or anything, I don't think. Should be pretty. Yep, it's pretty easy to take. Get the war score. That should give us 10% at least. And we can look to bargain. <laughs> 6,000 men. Family ties. This is what Kin is for. Muscovy's opinion goes up. There we go. Muscovy's going to like me even more. So that's good. And six. They got it. Good job, everyone. Lithuania has gotten to some bad peace. Now, Lithuania, we could get a white piece of Lithuania. Because I don't want their lands. None of their lands will give me good borders. So I don't want their lands. I don't want to give their lands to Muscovy. Because that could just cause, you know, problems. Return calls to the Great Horde. Great Horde. Not bothered. I like having them as like a deterrent for Muscovy. Like always a problem for them. So I'm not bothered about that. Release nations. Would they even do anything? Like, would they pay one gold? They would pay one gold. Okay. What about the smallest one? They wouldn't do that. So yeah, we're not going to get anything like that. Annul end treaties with Poland, please. They would not do that either. If we piece them out, the war is over. Really. Um, steer trade, war operations. They wouldn't do that. Okay, how much money can we get from you then? No. Okay, we can get one. <laughs> we can get one. 31 gold. Fine. I'm happy with that. We'll send that. We'll make peace of them. Uh, demand tribute, yep, yeah, we'll get that from them. Denmark will get 11 of the amount. The rest will go to Muscovy. Muscovy will be happy then, hopefully. Inflation. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't want anything from them, so yeah. We want all the land from Poland. But that will probably decrease our war score. It did a tiny bit, but not too much. Okay. And we'll keep going. Now with them out the war. Yep, yeah, we've got this. We've got this. We've got like double men in every bracket. So we should be fine now. Sorry, Poland, but you should have made better allies. <laughs> France was never. Okay, and France has made peace with Castile. Now, Castile actually took a bit of France. And did they give that back to England? Or was that always owned? Did England already own that? I don't remember. I can't remember, but Castile beat them. They've uh, taken a bit of land as a prize, apparently. At least one piece of land. Uh, there was some rebels, apparently, I heard. I heard the rebel noise. Uh, Poland's going down. Well, they, they'd give me this. I would like this. I like this. You wouldn't give me that. You could give me this. Hmm. I want enough that I wouldn't get a, a coalition against me. That's what we want. We want anything along the coast. Really. So that's too much. A coalition would appear from that. So, okay, let's go back from that. Uh, that, that. What would be the coalition, though? Pomerania, Lithuania, Poland, and Bohemia. We could probably handle that. I'd probably... That could give us the whole coast, basically. <laughs> uh, that could give us, like, the whole coast. I feel like the possibility of a coalition is fine, because the Lithuania-Poland coalition is no different from how they're going to feel. It's just the Bohemia part. Um, so maybe if we can just get it for Bohemia wouldn't join, or maybe if we don't take that one, um, uh, it'll be fine. But we can definitely get a lot of stuff. So I'm not leaving here without a lot of stuff, so then we can inherit Norway. And we have an heir, a 264. Now that's not too bad. Current king's 32. I need a name for this king. Council! What shall we name the heir to the throne? What shall we name this one? I'm waiting. What possible ideas do you guys have? For this heir. What should we name him? His name's Christian. Right now. I could just call him Christian. If there's no ideas. I could call him Christian. If there's any possibilities. Anyone having an idea. Then I'll take him on board. And we'll see. Any that would fit with Denmark. We've got Jeppy. No. Somali. No, we're not doing Somali. Uh, Wildon. Wildon. Wildon's an odd name. But Somali. That's a CK2 thing. We, we can't do that. 
Wilden. I support Jeppy. Wilson. <laughs> okay, Wilson at least is a normal name. So right now, uh, Sabam, so I'm going to go Wilson. Wilson to me seems like the most normal name of that lot. I'm going with that unless someone can convince me. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, then. It's Wilson. The name now is Wilson. Wilson von Wittelsbach. There we go. He will be the next king. Hopefully he does not die. I misspelled the first time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't worry, I understood. 43% here. Hey, we captured this one. That should give us a nice little bit of war score there. Poland needs to be trashed. We need to show Poland that they may have defeated the Teutonic Order, but now I'm, he I'm here to defeat them. Denmark is time is here. Okay, Venice is starting to look a bit out of it, but they're not willing to make peace just yet. Okay, I'll go to Mamel then. Military leaders left us. What? No, our military leader has died. Okay, we need a new general. Do I get the, the ruler command? We could give our military ruler command. Nah, we need a new general. Let's go over. Let's get the military power. We're, I think... Yeah, we're, we're ahead on military tech, so we're fine there. Let's go for it then. New general. I need a general's name. We've got currently Adolf Akele, or Council. Name for the general. No, says Kilroy. Oh, sorry, yeah, Kilroy. Your son's dead. Sorry. I need a name for this new general to take on the mantle. Wilson is the name of my firstborn. Ah, Sabam. Good to know. Interesting name, actually. I don't meet many Wilsons, actually. I don't think I've met any. I guess you could shorten it to Will. I mean, you meet, but that's also short for William. You see, Scourge. Flammable spider. Okay, Scourge is the only choice. Scourge, Scourge Adolf. I like the idea of Scourge Adolf. Or like Adolf the Scourge. I could go. I could get behind that. Um, but yeah, you never, meet, you never see many Wilsons, actually. Hmm. I like that, though. I, I like names that sound fine, but are not that popular anymore. You know, I always like those types of names. Okay, we'll go with Adolf the Scourge. Uh, Rudage. Rudage? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll go with Adolf the Scourge. Wait, what? You spell it? The Scourge. No, yeah, we'll go with Scourge. That's fine. I guess, actually, you put Scourge, didn't you? I'm not... I guess that, there. Wilson is kind of common in Brazil. Oh, really? Oh, okay. oh actually, I think, yeah. It, there's, it's interesting. A lot of names in Brazil that are popular, are, like there's like Fred and stuff, and they're not popular in a lot of other places that would have those types of names either. A lot of Brazilians took a ve very, like, sort of English-sounding names. Um, Jeppy is a Danish, Danish name? I don't know what that is. Um, what do you go? Adolf the Scourge. There you go. He's actually got some shocks. So that's actually kind of good. There we go. Adolf, the great Adolf. No one knows his real family name. He came from nowhere. Um, Royce, sorry, no Royce. Maybe maybe he's a secret Royce. He's a bastard Royce, maybe. No one knows, though. England has announced me as their rival, though. And my ally is about to be killed by some Venetians. Thanks, Venice. Bad job, allies. Denmark occupied this. We'll go here now. And then we basically got the whole coast. Venice, they're still medium. Still not willing to leave, though. Still not willing to leave. Adolf the Bastard Royce. We'll name him. For now. That, that, that'll be kind of the, the law for us. The inside law. We think he's a bastard of the Royce family. Tragley's been disbanded. We got that. Venice, you still want to stay in? Fine, I mean... They won't give me this yet. The man's war. Ex yeah, we need a lot more war score, don't we? Uh, Danish. Ah, okay. I don't. I don't recognize that name. So I'm, I'm just not really into it right now. We're gonna go take a uh, Riga, I think. Well, there's a lot of Venetian men here. Okay, we'll go take this first. Uh, let's head to Riga. Uh, we can go and invest in this. Possible advisors for administration. Administration tech has fallen behind. So we want to get the administration tech up next. Uh, not possible advisors. I don't need that right now. Yeah. And the colonist is still working his stuff in the colony. Yeah. And I need to get some men there as soon as possible so we can help fight. I'm going to try and take this. And this is grasslands. 
and it's nothing special if he takes it. The Holy Roman Empire has chosen Austria as their emperor once again. Is there a river here? There's no river. We could go and attack, but I don't know if there's more men to go help. Now, there are 5,000 men just there. They are going to go help. Danish is the hardest Nordic language to understand. Well, I, I probably wouldn't know, to be honest. Venice, come on, leave. Leave it. You know what? I'm not going to attack Venice because you know, there's, there's a few men coming to help out there. That'll make it a bit more difficult. And Venice, I think, are going to leave soon. If, the, you know, if things go bad still, Venice will leave. It's a little, little bit more needed to push them out. And once they're out, it's over. They're all walking about too much. I don't like this. I don't know where the enemy's going. I don't know where they're going. I can't calculate for this. Okay, these 7,000 men I would like to kill if I can. Let's kill them. This is uh, Marsh. There's no real negative attack in there. We've got 20 Muscovy men down here. We, should, we can get these guys before they escape. There we go. they got 5,000 more men coming in. We should be fine. There was a terrain. That's a marsh, obviously, but we got them. There we go. 40%. There we go. Both those battles really hurt that. Venice still not willing to leave them behind. Venice, no good man will be left behind, says Venice. Venice needs to get beaten up. Someone needs to beat up Venice. Someone beat up Venice. Come on, Muscovy. The miracle of life. In these dark days of war and death, a reminder of a new beginning can ease the pains of our people. Our great King Frederick I and his noble Queen Consort have been blessed with another child. Ah, oh, the birth of the new von Wittelsberg. Babe revitalizes the people of Denmark. This is what we fight for, everyone. We fight for this. It's closer to Norwegian. What is? We're going to attack them. They're no way near. We could probably go hand up. There's like a thousand men. Hi, Venice is high right now. Because they're fighting another... Oh, stupid Muscovy. Scrovy, you silly billies. Uh, they took them down a bit, but they're just encouraging them. No, it's gone back down the medium. <laughs> they never would. It's almost there. It's so close. They just lost one battle. They would leave. That's the annoying thing. I need to go beat up Venice. Explore. Oh, wow. That was a long exploration. Then again, we're going at a slow speed these days because we're trying to deal with the war. There's a few places, isn't there? Um, South Atlantic, I guess. So I can navigate the globe? Let's go for a bit more stuff. How are babies low as war exhaustion? That's interesting. Yep, happens in real life as well. Let's have a baby low as that war exhaustion. One more battle, and Venice would be out of here. Let's try and see if we can grab them. Okay. Gonna keep walking around. I can't walk around there. Damn. Okay, you got me, Venice. You got me. But my allies are gonna take back those lands we couldn't get. I'll take this for now then. And we'll just try and see if Venice will just leave of their own accord. Uh, these guys, you'll defeat there as well. 41%. As long as this keeps going. Ooh, it's gone down to minus 18, actually. They've actually gotten happier. Oh, but they're, they're locked. I can't move into that. Damn them. You scheming Venetians. You tricked me. If I could go get you, I'm going to catch Okay, I'm, I'm fine. I'm going to catch Birth of colonialism. Okay, where does it start? Oh, I guess it could start in our land. Uh, a new cardinal. He's loyal to us. We've now got two. That's pretty nice. Put that. I'm a, oh, I forgot I was the papal controller, wasn't I? Um, but yeah, look at Liege. Oh my, look at Burgundy. Castile. Did Castile inherit Burgundy? It must have happened, yeah. Okay, interesting. Because obviously we know that obviously in the history, Spain did have the Lowlands. But that was because he was a von Habsburg from Austria. We had Austria that and that. But this is actually Castile itself inherited. It did Trastamara. Which is not really what you'd expect, I guess. Um, but where did colonialism start? That's what we need to know right now. Granada. Okay, far away from me. Great. Starting Castile. Damn you, Castile. It's fine, though. How long will this take to be done? It's going to take a while. 
Fine, fine. It's going to take a while. And our money is almost ran out. Hopefully we can win this war before the money runs out. That's all we care about. No one cares about anything but money. Okay, Poland's just been sweeped across now. Come on, Poland. You got to see this is over. It won't give up. The harsh life of the ocean. Okay, the... Sailors are leaving me. We'll capture this. This has been a problem for me. Renew war taxes. We have to. Yep. This has been getting in my way. Venice. Someone fight those Venetians. Go, Brandenburg. Go kill them. How is my... Uh... Okay, Muscovy has been participating 50%. So Muscovy is going to be, like, a bit upset. Possibly. If I don't give them anything. But, oh, well... Someone kill the Venetians. Okay, the, the Venetians are now attacking the Swedish. We can't, we caught them, but again, they just... Because Brandenburg didn't actually go to help. You just help... Okay, Venice is now low. Venice is now low. Okay, here we go. This is what we needed. Okay, I want scum to get colonization in Ethiopia. Hmm, okay. Return cause? Ottomans? Never. Turn that. Milan. Bosnia. No. Release nations. I don't mind them being strong, really. Plus, I don't think we can get anything, but I'd like some null treaty with Poland. They wouldn't give us that. Okay, any money? No. Okay, just white peace then. Fine, we'll send that. White peace. There we go. 60% we now have, and it's just Poland in this now. If we did that, coalition, Pomeranian, Lithuania... Bohemia. If I took out this, will Bohemia... Ooh. Now, we could get this, and Bohemia would not join. What about that one? Bohemia would not join either for that. We'd be getting close to Muscovy. I don't want to join Muscovy there. Occupied by Muscovy. Oh, Muscovy would get that. Okay, I don't want to give them that. <laughs> we'll go for this one. Poland. Okay, I could go for that. Riga would be good as well. We could go for that. Yeah, it's all go to me. Okay, that's fine. This one? We could, it's all the same. We could go for that. I think that's pretty good. This one's occupied by Muscovy, though. I can't have that. I wish I could have this. This would be perfect. I could get that. Which is the Bohemia one there. How about then? We'll go for this for now. I'm going to aim to get this. This is what I want. All the coastal stuff. Um, 97. But I'm going to also increase opinion with po uh, Bohemia. And see if we can get them to love us a bit more. Time to integrate. Yeah. After we get that, hopefully we can then try and get Norway. Not integrate, but try and get Norway to be inherited. Um, Poland. Oh, we're spying on Poland, aren't we? I completely forgot. Stop that. Stop it. We've had enough. Um, and the other one was Bohemia. Improving relations. Um, Sweden improve late. Yeah, we're keeping Sweden on our good side. That's fine. Okay. Happy with this. We got two back. And uh, Bohemia. Yeah, we got that going on. Okay, good. Muscovy, I wish you'd give that to me, but you know what? I can accept it. I can accept it. We'll just slowly be at Poland until they're dead. Um, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. Poland's dead. How many men did they have? Yep, z <laughs> Poland is zero men. Okay, guys, we've won. We've won the war. Oh, yeah, you know what? That was a pretty good war. We did a pretty good job. At the beginning, it was pretty even. I was a little bit worried, but we actually pulled it off. So I'm pretty happy about that. And this can make a big difference for Denmark. Sometimes you got to wait and just bide your time, you know? One wrong move can kill you. So we tried to play it carefully, and it worked out. We go for that. Courthouse. Uh, number of states. Okay, fine. Nothing else. Okay, good. Actually, wait, we could Yeah, we weren't going for the ideas, were we? Yeah. We'll do that another time. What's the next one? National tax modifier goes up. That could be good as well. It's always always good to have more taxes. I mean, who never wanted more taxes? Scoby's getting that. Siege of Poznan. Okay, 84%. They they would accept peace for this. Okay. If I, I didn't take that, I took... Uh, I would love Riga, but this would be even better. Yep, Bohemia wouldn't... Yep, okay, that's good then. We want that coast at least. Maybe I just don't go for this and go for Riga. I want Riga. <laughs> I want Riga, but we can't. 
It's too much. That looks perfect to me, doesn't it? No one's unhappy. Everyone loves us. I, I mean, cancel subjects. Ooh, cancel the subjects. How much does that cost? 20%. How much does this cost me? 15% left. I don't need that. I need this. They can keep that. But the borders... Oh, they're going to have this horrible borders up here as well, aren't they? Um, release nations. Can we get any of these? Uh, Riga. Ooh, Riga could just be released. Ooh, yep. Yeah, okay, I'm releasing Riga. I'm releasing Riga. That's what I want. I'm going to release Riga. And we're going to make them my little buddy. And we're going to vassalize them. I'm going to do that. Let's do this. I'm happy with this. Money. There we go. Give me 120 gold as well just to round it off a bit there. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. Yep. Happy, happy. Uh, so, bam, no problem. We got the money. Very happy with this. And if they make a coalition, we've shown we can beat them. So, I see no problem with this. This is great. Very good win for us there. So, we now are in command of the, the, the Baltic. Look at that. Danish Baltic. That's what we wanted. Let's get us next to, you know, Gotland as well. Looks so lovely. Riga, you're going to be my new little friend, okay? I'm going to vassalize you one day. The economic base is so good. How dare you? We'll, we'll show you. We'll show you one day. But for now, you're going to make it... I know it's too many relations, but I'm going to give you an alliance. Um, I should have just gone... Now we'll make the alliance. I need to stop this. Council military access, yeah. we got a lot of things we need to sort out. Okay. So now with that done, we got mission fulfilled. What was this? Um, expand Denmark. There we go. We've done that. Good, good, good. We should have this. Conquer Ozel. All provinces in the Estonian area. Ah. Yeah, we don't have that yet. But, you know, Muscovy was going to get it. So we need, we couldn't get it anyway. But we will have to try and get it in the future. We need to get all of these. Oh, God. Uh, it's going to take so long. So many things. Okay, purchase a thing now. I mean, this age is almost over. The age is almost over. But... Justify wars? Colony one, I guess. Might as well go for that then. Okay. These co I know, the colors are horrible. Because the... <laughs> Poland, Denmark, and Lithuania. Why are they all such similar reds? You know, not well, the red each sort of colors. So it's annoying. Brandenburg actually has 15 years old though he's not very old he'd be fine uh, abolished that pass act of uniformity institute embracement cost no we're fine with that uh corruption we're no longer at war so we're going to, have to put down the army maintenance and put down the mothball or forts as well okay we're not making money still that's not great either we need to root out corruption a lot of corruption there we go. Okay, exiled armies. Yeah, they're gonna come back. Oh god, we gotta. Okay, well we'll take them back to the mainland. Take them back to the main, but we got all this land here. We're gonna need a lot more transport boats. Uh, Pomerania though should be my next target, but it is part of the HRE. It is part of the HRE, which is. I would love to have it, but I don't think we'll be able to get it. So, for now, we need to attack Poland again in the future. That's what we need. We need to capture all of this. That's what we want. Um, yeah, that's what we want. That's what we need. Too many relations. We'll get rid of Pomerania Middle Access. Uh, Muscovy with the Alliance. I need to eat Norway or Sweden. Probably just destroy my Brandenburg Alliance. Uh, but too few rivals. Poland, I think we might as well put as it. We might as well, Poland hates me. We might as well, Lithuania hates me. I should put Lithuania, actually. Overextension is dangerously high. We're going to have to manage all of this. So many things to do right now. So many things to do. So little time. And we're losing money like clockwork at this point in time. Norwegian noble webbles. What? And what's the chance of us inheriting Norway now? Minus 14%. Diplomatic reputation, minus 2%. What? What now? What now? We're never going to inherit them. Maybe I got to actually do the, the uh, make them cause and stuff. Maybe that's why we could go for that. We might as well. 
And we'll get the next one up for that. We've got new infantry available. Let's go click on them. Hmm. What do we want? We don't want to have... We want a bit of defense, I think, for shock. So we want to have one of these two. Um... Let's go for this infantry. Condotta infantry. I like that. Let's go for them. We'll go for them for this one. We'll go for them. We'll, we'll go for that. Maybe, maybe. Ah. Okay, Denmark man, get back. Okay, get back. Now we need this. The age of reformation has arrived. Well, c'est la vie. And also, oh dear. Uh, liberty, yet yeah, we lost that ability. Sweden may want to leave, but we are more powerful than we used to be. Uh, but there's there's definitely a chance they might try to leave us. We need to send men to the new world because we need to get our colony going. Oh, whoop. okay, Norway, thanks. Uh, Norway, oh, apparently Norway's going exploring. Thanks, Norway. Right. Five hundred and fifty-three. Ah, I need to get to Africa. We need to get to Africa as soon as possible. Never going to get to India. How is our power now? We're now seventh. We're ahead of Poland. That's good. Mamluks, Muscovy, France. Muscovy. i got to be careful of Muscovy. We could be feeding a beast here. Could just be feeding a, a massive monster. So we're going to have to be careful. Yeah. Um, Norway's in trouble with some Norwegian noble rebels. Rainier. Okay. But too many relations. We're only allowed four of them. Might have to get rid of Brandenburg. Scurvy, can we have a royal marriage to make sure that we're actually, like, you know, close? Yeah. Just want to make sure that we don't mis misconceive each other. Okay? That'd be lovely if you could do that. But, yeah. In minus four. Yeah, I think we have to make them to cause first. Uh, Riga would like a royal marriage. That's lovely. We're going to make Riga our little friend. There you go, Riga. Happy to have you on board. I'm very happy to have Riga on board, actually. You sound great. 57%. It's not too bad. Sweden's not too bad. Sweden's on the edge. We could bring them around still. But, guys, because the war's over, we're going to have to end this here. I've, I've been streaming now for probably like four hours now. I'm going to have to go. Um, but we will continue, hopefully, tomorrow. Um, and the next day and the next day. Hopefully we can continue this over the week and we will get Denmark to India We will sell our own trade company and we will take all the tea. It will be mine Let's have a quick look at what we got over here. We got grain Ship stuff, you know naval supplies. Ooh gems got Some more livestock. That's just what we needed of course uh, some stuff there. Eh, it's okay. But next, we need to take this. We need to take this land. I don't mind Poland having this land down here, but we need to take this land. So if we go to war with Poland again in the future, I would not like to bring in Muscovy. That would be the idea if we went toward them again in the future, which we will have to do. But I'll be back next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream. It was a real fun, actually. I really enjoyed it. And we're actually doing pretty well. We've actually been able to grow quite a bit. Denmark can always be a, a hit and a miss if you, like I say, are risky. We've played the safe game, and it's paid off for us so far. We've got the colony start, the first colony starting to go. The colonial escapades are started, and we now have the shore, mostly in the Baltic. So it's mostly as Sweden has the rest and stuff. So it's really Pomeranian and Lubeck are our real problems here. But yeah. Okay, great stream, NG. Till next time. Yep, see you, Kilroy. Thank you for leading our men to their victories and that initial loss. But he, he seemed to have learned from that, and he... Came to do quite well after that. Uh, Austria is still set to be the next emperor. Hopefully Bohemia though can... Or maybe Saxony could come and take them off the mantle. But yeah, I'm very happy with how we're doing here. Things go badly wrong still, but we're losing money. A lot of money. A lot. Mind to get rid of that advisor. Might just be costing me too much. In all honesty, but yeah. Okay, guys. Have a good day, have a good morning, have a good night, and of course, have a good tomorrow. And I hope I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you then. Zazien.